Top of the line, I give you the news. It's nothing less. The way I deliver the facts. Try to do it the best, man. It's button check. Gotta subscribe and telling you that it's button check. You're not tuning the button check. What is up, button check fam? Welcome back to yet again. A beautiful morning, a week in morning. It is Sunday. Thank you guys for joining us. Chapters down below. And of course, that sub button right there. You guys know the drill. Thank you. Honestly, it means the world to us for you guys taking the time to help this channel grow. And with that being said, we got them hot weekend buttons. We's about to check it all, ladies and gents. Let's go. All right, now we'll do them first set of SNK Global, right? The official Twitter page of SNK posted this, right? Important update about Samurai Showdown. Unfortunately, they're delaying the rollback yet again. Okay, so they posted this right here saying, notice regarding the rollback netcode update. Right here saying, to ensure the Samurai Showdown rollback netcode update is of the utmost quality, we have decided to push back its release from the previous scheduled September 2023 window. We are deeply sorry for this additional delay as we know that many of you have been looking forward to these new features. In line with the release date change and our continued dedication to quality assurance, we plan to hold another community beta test on Steam in October this year. More information about the test will be provided once available. The new release window for rollback netcode will be announced in due course pending the result of the above test. Thank you for bearing with us as we do our very best to make Samurai Showdown a more enjoyable, more seamless online experience for all. We truly appreciate your continued support and enthusiasm. All right, so there you have it. And obviously that FGC is reacting. I mean, you can see some people saying it's okay, take your time. Obviously, you know, trying to understand. Others are saying like, yo, spring of 2023 became spring of 2024. Some kind of off put at the timing of all this, right? Saying it's like the third last minute delay. Please Please don't announce a date next time until the implementation is ready. Then some word about the consoles as well, right? Saying if you're going to give another beta test out in October, make it for consoles as well. I'm tired of not being able to play my game because nobody wants to play a game unless it has rollback. Then it gets a little deeper right here. Claudio posting this saying at this point, please consider to make a new chapter, a new game. The game is kind of dead in EU. Even with the good rollback during the next months, we will have tons of new games, which people are waiting for. I am sorry. There you have it, and it pretty much continues from there. You do have a lot of people showing support as well, saying, you know, to the people that are crying or being crybabies, y'all should understand, like, all that matters in the end is the good quality. At least they're telling us what's up, and, you know, if they rush it and it sucks, then, I mean, there's no point. But, of course, on the flip side, you see people kind of, I guess, feeling misled, thinking they was going to be done by now, and then others like Claudio saying, well, the base, the game is basically dead by now, so what's the point? So definitely, at the time, not too much of a good feel, and of course, only time is going to tell, but that one statement does stand out. It's like everybody only wants to play a game nowadays that has good rollback, because you don't want to play unless you can play with your friends, and then people also like, well, what's up with the love for the consoles, but how y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, now into the next set of top five paid players, right, in the FGC buttons that need to be checked. So Fly Fighters made a very interesting video the other day. Um, I'll put more of the video if I can find it. So far, I just saw this clip, right? If you don't know who they are, profile on the screen, I believe they're the recent or current uh, sponsors of Punk the God. Esports team, link down below as always, but they posted this saying, tagging CEO Taku guessed the top five earners in the FGC posting this clip. Check it out. Or, okay, so one for sure is Sonic Fox. Uh, gotta go, I'm just gonna attempt it out of the gate, Sonic Fox. Right. Give me your first guess. Sonic Fox number one. Sonic Fox is number one. Uh, Justin Wong. Justin Wong actually not on the top five. Not even actually in the top 20. Not even the top 20? MK Leo. MK Leo is not on there, MK Leo is 13. Tokido has to be one, right? Tokido is number two. Tokido's number okay. two, okay. Tokido. Tokido's number two. Mena. Mena's number four. Me. What if I told you you're not on the list? No, maybe not. Maybe Mena passed me then. Uh, then. No, you're number three. Oh, okay. Just trying to pick Angry Bird? Angry Bird is actually close, but no. Number five is a Smash player. He's from Florida. Outside the box. Oh, Hungry Box? That's it. No smash counting. Damn, so there you go. And I was shocked as well when they said Justin's not even on there, but I got a good idea what's going on. So anyway, you got Sonic Fox, obviously. You got Punk, and they said Hungry Box. Uh, and it was hilarious at the end because you could see as it cut off when Punk was just about to say, 
oh, I didn't know that Smash counted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we have heard that debate forever when it comes to is the Smash community or Smash Bros really truly considered FGC, right? But it is what it is. If you watch this, you know, if you watch Button Check long enough, you already know how I feel on the topic. But anyway, people commenting, they thought that was hilarious. But I, I think the whole surprising thing with Justin Wong, because I think they're only counting recent like tournament winnings, if I'm not mistaken, because they're saying current FGC or top FGC earners, right? But a lot of these people like obviously Punk, well, Punk's on the list. Uh, your Justin Wong's, your Brian F's right now, they're making a ton off their YouTube content. You know what I'm saying? They're making all kinds either off of sponsorships, stuff they got going on besides just winning top eight at a tournament. So I think in this case, they're just counting like tournament winnings. I could be mistaken, you know what I'm saying? But I know for a damn fact, like these guys like Justin Wong and whatnot that are making a killing on YouTube, they're making a healthy ass living when it comes just to content. So to me, I would consider that, I mean, that has to contribute, right? To top FGC earners, right? Because you're in the FGC and if you're earning money, you're earning money. I mean, it's all FGC content. Obviously it could be debatable because we're just talking about like, tournament winnings. And the other day when I made that comment, right, when saying like, it's gonna be interesting this year because we're gonna have our first millionaire in the FGC when it comes to competitors, right? We got the Capcom Pro Tour. Well, I saw some comments where people like, what are you talking about? We already have like millionaires in the FGC. And I'm like, well, really, do we? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know over time, I could imagine like your Maximillions, um, possibly even Sonic Fox, who knows? But I know a million dollars is a lot of damn money, especially to win it solely from tournaments. We're not talking about ad deals. We're not talking about content. I'm just talking about straight tournament winnings. So for the FTC to finally get that is fuck, I mean, it's bonkers. But I still don't got the answers, right? Because let me back up. No, who they, who they got? They said Taquito. I forgot about Taquito. They got Taquito, Sonic, Punk, and who they say, Hungry Box. So who's the last one? Who's number five? I don't know. How y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, next up for that Dr. Disrespect getting Dr. Disrespected. Buttons that need to be checked. The man got salty as all hell because he got body as all hell in MK1, right? A lot of you familiar with this streamer. We don't really talk about him too much because he's not FGC, but a lot of people now coming to the party, baby, because we got games that's on another level, including MK1. So apparently he decided to partake in some MK1 action. Posting this just the other day, by the time you're watching this, like a day or so ago, right? Live at 30 minutes, Mortal Kombat 1, tagging Tim the Tap Man, right? Versus me, best of seven. Rumor is he's been training off Line, doesn't matter, he couldn't take me in the real life and he's definitely never taking me in any online match. And then they get down, but what Dr. Disrespect didn't realize what I guess Tim has really been practicing, maybe not obviously on the pro level, but enough to whoop his ass, enjoy. <laughs> What? You just walk right through it? Finish it. And it doesn't stop there because it, the disrespect continues. Check it out. No! Finish it. Huh. Now that it's all done, he continues to get even more saltier and aggravated, has this little speech here. Check this out. Because this is not 1996 anymore where we're at the arcade and I'm absolutely destroying everyone on Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 using smoke. Now we've got fucking... You got characters where you can just spam, you don't have to do anything. You used the cheesiest, corniest player in the game to defeat me today. 
That's, that's not true. I didn't I see any true combinations. I didn't see any skill coming from your area. All you kept on doing was pressing LB to bring in your little secondary character, and then you just kept on spamming X and Y so you can get your little blades out. That's all you did. No, I didn't. I I, I played as Scorpion. Uh, where I am at, where, am I, where I'm at mentally, right now, I'd, I'd destroy you by 60. And of course, people are reacting, but one of the ones that stood out to me was by Lucius Onyx that says, I'm not a fighting game player, but I still understand that everything's allowed in that game. It doesn't matter if the guy's spamming the same buttons in combo. If you can't handle them, you deserve to lose. Damn. There you have it, right? Basically saying, get good. If you can't handle it, get good. So there you have it. One thing I like, whether you like Dr. Disrespect or not, to be honest, I don't know that much about him. I know he's mega, right? I know everybody knows about him and whatnot, but I don't really watch his stream, so I couldn't tell you much, you know what I'm saying? But I will tell you what I like is that the bigger these games get, the more popular, it's just simply bringing more people to the party. Just recently, we had a Waka versus Sonic. Now, what was it, Street Fighter VI? We even got MMA fighters calling each other out. There's a lot going on. The celebrity world is starting to take notice more than ever. Hell, they're even talking about doing a part two to Waka versus Sonic. Don't know if it's gonna happen. There's just kind of a rumor right now. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you, but I am making a Patreon video today and posting it today, well, by the time you're watching this, yesterday, about what I know so far. So anyway, there it is, how y'all feeling? Let me know. There it is one more time. Thank you guys for the amazing support, man. Liking, sharing, you know, taking time to sub and whatnot. Also, of course, the Patreon. We'll see y'all soon. If not tomorrow, definitely that next day, which in this case, it'll be Tuesday for that HT. So for day, and relax, enjoy your Sunday, have a good time. Most of us got to go back to the grind tomorrow morning. Well, hell, here on Button Check, we stay on the grind. But, you know, on the weekends, we usually get a little time. Just a, a few hours here and there to kind of, you know, stretch our legs and whatnot. And as always, I don't know what it is. But, ladies and gents, y'all already know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. So you can and now into that moment of FGC bliss, we got none other than Ninja Killer, right? Posted this the other day saying, your opponent hits you with this in a tournament. What are you doing? <laughs> Enjoy the clip.